way is the proper path of life from the mythological perspective. And to identify with the way is instead of identifying with this or with this, knowing that they're temporary, is to identify with this, because it's the only thing that's constant across the constant span. So you say, well, there's known territory, and there's unknown territory, and there's the process by which one is generated out of the other. And you said, well, where does the individual fit? Basically, where are you? Well, if you're doing this voluntarily, then you're identifying with the process by which cultural information is generated, rather than with the information itself. So that makes you always on the always in the proper locale, so to speak, to construct the world, that's where all the, that's where all the interesting occurrences take place. That's a proper place to live. I'll, give, I'll close with an example of that. Say, well, here's another symbol that you're all familiar with. That, that's Tao. And Tao means two things. It either means the way, depending on the translation, the way, which is that, or it means meaning. So to live in Tao is to live in meaning. And this symbol is a symbol of the totality of the world. And why is that? Well, it's because this is chaos. And that's usually given a feminine connotation for reasons that we'll discuss later. And this is order. And it's chaos, and it's the split between chaos and order and the mutual coexistence that makes the world. And this dog is black because anything orderly can immediately be turned into chaos, more or less unpredictably, and sometimes by your own efforts. And chaos can also be turned into order. That's why this little dog's white, also by your own efforts. Exploration does that. And Tao, the man who lives in Tao, lives on this line with one foot in order and one foot in chaos. And the reason for that, see, that's where all the interesting things are happening. That's where the information is flowing. If you're all here, you predict everything. Well, that's secure, but it's boring. And it's not just boring. It's boring. It defines boring. There's no new information happening here. And if you're here, well, you're so overwhelmed with new information that, that you can't do anything with it. And you want to be here. And if you're here, then you're doing this. You're paying attention to anomalous information? Always. You're allowing that to destabilize this structure when it's necessary? So you have to do this. That's the hero in the belly of the beast, by the way, or the sun that pats its way out of the dragon at night and back up. So that's the path of the hero. And in terms of systems that are stable over time, an authoritarian system says, this is not necessary. So it decays as things change. A system that's properly developed said, well, we need this. But we also need this. And therefore, we're going to have to allow a certain amount of disorder into the system so that flexibility can be maintained. So, and the, 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 the trick is balance. It's like too much novelty, everything degenerates. Too much order, everything petrifies. You want to right on the proper edge. And the way that you can tell you're on the edge when you're interested in something. That's, that's the sign that says, you say, well, there's an affective signpost that tells you if you're here. If you're here, you're interested. If you're here, you're terrified. If you're here, you're bored. You want to be right in the middle of that. And then, well, that means your brain is on in, in, its optimal, in, in an optimal manner. Because your sensory systems are properly heightened. Because you're a little bit anxious. You're doing a lot of exploration. We find that pleasurable. Like, that's left frontal activation. People like that. That's incentive, reward, pleasure. That's what cocaine does to you. It says, when you're here, you're on. It's analgesic, too, which is kind of interesting. Is that like flow? Yeah, it's not quite, though, because the problem with things like flow, and this is Joseph Campbell's thing, too, is they're always talking about following your happiness. This is not right. To get here, what you have to do is look at things that you hate. Probably is no one by book that tells them that. It's, like, it's flow. No, but this is a major, this is a major problem. Uh, problem with New Age philosophy in general. It's the anomaly that you have to face. And the a priori motivational significance of an anomaly is terror. Because otherwise people would be in flow all the time. And they're not. 